Hello everybody and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today I've got a book review for you and the book that I'm going to review is Ape Shit by Carlton Mellick III and as usual I'm going to read the synopsis of this book and then I'll give you my thoughts on it because I have a lot of thoughts on it. Here we go. Friday the 13th meets Visitor Q. Ape Shit is Melek's love letter to the great and terrible B-horror movie genre. Six trendy teenagers, three cheerleaders, and three football players go to an isolated cabin in the mountains for a weekend of drinking, partying, and crazy sex, only to find themselves in the middle of a life-and-death struggle against a horribly mutated psychotic freak that just won't stay dead. Melek parodies this horror cliche and twists it into something deeper and stranger. It is a literary equivalent of a grindhouse film. It is a splatterpunk's wet dream. It is perhaps one of the most fucked up books ever written. If you are a fan of Takashi Miike, Evil Dead, early Peter Jackson, or Euro Trash Horror, then you must read this book. Also, on the front of the book is a blurb by Jack Ketchum, who knows quite a bit about writing the gore and writing the bizarre. If you haven't read Melek, you're, near, you're not nearly perverse enough for the 21st century. Okay, so first off, what can I say about this book? Uh, as you notice, if you notice the... Um, if you notice the thumbnail that comes up before I start doing the whole video and everything, uh, there's a picture of me with a very odd look on my face and it says, WTF did I just read? And that's exactly the way I felt the entire time I was reading this book. In fact, I actually thought, and I told uh, Brad Proctor, I actually said to him, I said, I'm actually thinking, or it might have been Nikki that I read past my bedtime. I think it was Brad though, yeah. I actually was thinking of just doing this review by looking at the camera and repeating over and over, WTF, did I just read? WTF, did I just read? Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the characters. You have three cheerleaders, you have three football players, and they are all as weird and bizarre as you can get, okay? And I kind of got the, I kind of thought to myself, I said, why did this guy call this book ape shit? And I think I know why, and I'm going to get to that. So let's go over some of the characters. I am not going to go over all of them because, first of all, spoilers. Second of all, some of this stuff might offend. Okay, so let's start with the worst of the women, or the girls. And I'm not sure how old they are. It just says that they're, they're uh, cheerleaders and football players, so they could be, I think they're high school age. So you have one character, Crystal. Crystal doesn't like to be touched. I mean, I'm talking about she doesn't like to be touched physically, she doesn't like to be touched sexually, she just doesn't like to be touched. So you think to yourself, well, how does she, you know, well, she does the you know part by looking at photographs of women having abortions. That's how she gets off. In fact, she thinks it would be the ultimate thrill to uh, impregnate herself, have an abortion, and because she thinks that would be the ultimate sexual thrill. I'm trying to be as tame as I can with this stuff, okay? I am trying my best, okay? I'm not trying to offend anybody. Uh, let's see, the guys, the guys, uh, guy, the guy's Jason. Jason is Crystal's boyfriend, and you have to think that's a strange relationship because she doesn't like to be touched. Uh, Jason uh, is a self-serving douchebag whose dad basically made him that way because anytime his dad thought that the kid was being a quote unquote, sorry about this, pussy, uh, his dad would put him through these uh, rites of passage, these life lessons that were cruel, abusive, uh, anything they, anything you should not have subject, subject a kid to, okay? Uh, let's see, there's uh, Desdemona. Desdemona is covered in tattoos, butterfly tattoos. Uh, she is in a three-way relationship with two guys. One guy is more gay than bisexual, but they are all in this relationship together. I'm not saying that is weird because they do that. I know people are involved in that. That's fine. That's cool. I'm just saying that's what they do in the book. Okay, so I sugarcoated this as much as possible because it is just bizarre. All right? Absolutely bizarre. Okay, and that is why I think the author... Oh, look, wait a minute. I forgot about the 
the, the, the crazy, indescribable freaks running through the forest. And when I say indescribable, it's kind of exactly what I mean. They, uh, they're humanoid, but they have things growing out of them. They have lobster claws for hands and just weird. So, and to me, I'm sitting there thinking, when I was reading this book, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, these psychotic mutant freaks that are running through the forest are the most normal characters in the book. That's exactly what. And I think the reason the author called this book ape shit is because he literally took the he took the literary equivalent of what a monkey does by just reaching back behind his backside and throwing it on the page and seeing what sticks. That's why he called this book ape shit. That's exactly why, okay? Uh, and the thing is, I was talking to uh, I was talking to Nikki. And I read past my bedtime and I said to her, I said, I don't know how to rate this book. I, because, and I can't, I'm not giving this book a rating. And it's not because it sucks. It's because I don't know whether to give this guy, this book a five star rating for just the sheer audacity the guy has to write this book or a one star rating for the sheer audacity the guy has to write this book. I'm torn. I can't rate it. That's just it. Is it good? Yeah, it's actually good, but it's just so bizarre. I can't recommend it, you know? So if you want to read it, please, yeah, read it. Be your own judge. But this is one odd book, and what's really bad, and this is what does this say about me, is the fact that I read this book, and I also purchased his other book, The Haunted Vagina. <laughs> And my wife is just getting a absolute kick out of the fact that I ordered a book with that title. So yeah, anyway, that's my review of Ape Shit. I can't rate it. I just don't know how to rate it. I don't know what to do about it. But anyway, that's my review. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the working week if you are working and if you're not working and staying home and being healthy. Thank you very much. Anyway, have a great day. Good night, goodbye, good evening, whatever.